Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov, who later adopted the name Lenin, was born on 22nd April 1870 in Stoletskaya Ulitsya, Simbex, present-day Ulyanovsk, to Ilya Nikolaevich Ulyanov and Maria Alexandrova Blank. As a child, Lenin was said to be extremely competitive and destructive. He was also a good sportsman who spent most of his time playing chess and other outdoor games. Despite this, he was excellent with his studies in school. When Lenin was 15, in January 1886, his father died from a brain hemorrhage and his elder brother Alexander, who had been involved in political agitation against the absolute monarchy of Alexander III, was tried for conspiring to assassinate the Tsar and subsequently executed by hanging. This led to Lenin's erratic and confrontational behavior at the time. He also renounced his belief in God. Lenin, however, continued with his studies and graduated with a gold medal for being exceptional. He then got admitted into Kazan University in August 1887 to study law. There he joined the Zemlya Chesvo, a university society represented by men from a particular region and was elected as their university representative. Lenin participated in a student's demonstration against the banned restriction the government put on student societies. He was arrested and later expelled from the university and also exiled out of the state under the accusations that he was a ringleader of the demonstration. But while on exile at the family's Kokuskino estate, Lenin began reading voraciously, taking particular interest in the 1863 pro-revolutionary book by Nikola Shevishevsky's What is to be Done. After his mother pleaded with the ministry, Lenin returned. But then, he joined another revolutionary circle. In 1890, May, his mother pleaded that he be allowed to take his exams externally at the University of St. Petersburg. Lenin obtained the highest honor and then stayed in Samara for several more years, working as a legal assistant of a regional court. He also devoted much of his time to radical politics as a member of the Skiarenko group. Lenin moved to St. Petersburg in 1893 there, he rose to the position of a senior Marxist revolutionary cell called the Social Democrats. He also began a relationship with Nadezhda Nadia Krupskaya, who was a Marxist teacher. At this time, Lenin wrote a tract that politically criticized the Narodnik Agrarian Society. Lenin was again arrested, along with 40 other activists in St. Petersburg, and charged with sedition for producing news sheets that illustrated workers' clause. He denied the charges that were leveled on him and refused to be represented or granted bail. He was kept in prison for a year before he was sentenced in February 1897 to three years exile in Siberia. Nadia was also arrested for organizing a strike in 1896. She later joined him in exile in 1898 after her sentencing. She was allowed to join him after she claimed both of them were engaged. However, they got married that same year. Later, Lenin relocated to Skov in 1900 after his exile. He began a newspaper, Iskra, Spark, and raised funds for it. The newspaper was part of the new organ of the Russian Marxist Party that was called the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party and was smuggled into Russia. Iskra became the most successful underground publication for the next 50 years. It was at this point in December 1901 that he adopted the name Lenin. The revolution of 1905 sparked civil unrest in the Russian Empire, which was caused by the bloody Sunday massacre of protesters in St. Petersburg. Lenin, who was part of the Bolsheviks, urged them to take a greater role during the insurrection of the 1905 revolution, but it failed to overthrow the government. Lenin then lived in London briefly from May 1908 and wrote the materialism and imperial criticism. By the time the First World War started, Lenin was in Galicia as the war broke out the Russian Empire against the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He was arrested and briefly imprisoned because of his Russian citizenship until the anti-Tsarist verified and explained his credential. Lenin published his next work, Imperialism, the Higher Stage of Capitalism, in September 1917. And the following year, there was an assassination attempt on his life in Petrograd. He was saved by his friend Fritz Platin, who shielded him and was injured by a bullet. In August 1918, there was another attempt on his life in Moscow, where he was shot after giving a public speech. This time, 
he was severely injured. The second assassination attempt was widely publicized by the Russian press despite the revolt between him and the Bolsheviks at the time. It earned him much sympathy and boosted his popularity. At this time, Lenin and the Bolsheviks were seeking that the powers be shifted to them. Eventually, Lenin took power and began issuing a series of decrees, the first being the decree on land. He declared that the landed estates of the Orthodox Church and that of the aristocrats be nationalized and redistributed to the poor. In 1917, Lenin issued a declaration of the rights of the peoples of Russia, stating that those ethnic groups who were not Russians but living inside Russia were permitted to secede from the Russian authority and establish their own independent nation states. This led to several nations declaring independence, including Lithuania, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Ukraine, Poland, and Transcaucasian. Lenin also limited the work for everyone in Russia to eight hours per day and stipulated that the government would grant free and secular education for all children in Russia. He was targeting dealing with the mass illiteracy via the illiteracy campaign. Over 5 million people were enrolled in the campaign for crash courses for basic literacy from 1920 to 1926. Lenin made laws that granted women emancipation, giving them economic autonomy from their husbands, and also removing the restrictions that existed on divorce. Lenin also sought to end Russia's part in the World War after proposals with Germany, who gave Russia a term for desisting from the war. Lenin urged the Bolsheviks to accept the terms offered by Germany. In 1918, Trotsky returned to St. Petersburg with requirements from the Central Powers demanding that either Russia accept Germany's territorial demands or Germany would resume the war. The Bolsheviks did not want to agree to Germany's terms, but Lenin believed that a critical policy of his government must be the withdrawal from the First World War. The treaty was finally signed, although it resulted in Russia losing a large part of their territory, with 26% of its population forfeited. 37% of the agricultural areas, 28% of Russia's industry, and three-quarters of Russia's coal and iron deposits transferred to the control of Germany. It led to famine and chronic food shortages in many Western Russian cities in 1918. And in 1919, several concentration camps were now established and gradually grew into numbers until 1923 when the camps became 315 housing about 70,000 inmates. In the course of his reign, Lenin was visited by several prominent Western personalities in 1920. They included philosopher Bertrand Russell, Otto H. G. Wells, and the anarchist Alexander Bachmann and Emma Goldman. However, Lenin became seriously ill in 1921 with various diagnoses. But despite his poor health, Lenin kept on with his work and was elected chairman of the Soviet Union's new government. Lenin went into coma on 21st January 1924 and died later that day. He was officially said to have died from an incurable disease of the blood vessels. Lenin was a devout Marxist who believed his Leninism, which was his own interpretation of Marxism, was the only authentic one. He has been widely written about by Western biographers. Some criticized him as a totalitarian, a police state, and also a one-party dictator. A few others, like Christopher Hill, were sympathetic to him. Lenin was a revolutionary, a political theorist, a politician, and served as the head of government of Soviet Russia from 1917 to 1924. He brought the wider Soviet Union under a one-party communist state. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.